Hi, how is going on? Hope everything is going well. I extend my sincere greetings, and congratulations to you all, on behalf of Rubel from Tech Review. Today I am here to discuss the new generation of Dell Inspiron 5490. The basic configurations of this laptop, Intel Core i5 10th generation, 8GB RAM, 14-inch display, and a 256GB NVMe SSD. But some laptops came with 512GB SSD, and it depends on your region. The processor name of this notebook, Intel Core i5-10210U processor. Base frequency 1.60 GHz, turbo frequency 4.20 GHz, 6 MB Intel Smart Cache Memory, 4 cores, and 8 threads. It has a built-in graphics card, Intel UHD graphics, which are integrated with the processor. This graphics base frequency, 300 MHz, max dynamic frequency, 1.10 GHz. And max memory 32 GB. It has a 8 GB DDR4, 2666 MHz RAM. New responsive and lightweight Ultrabook, the Dell Inspiron 145490 with 14 inch Full HD anti reflective screen, relies on fast 256G VSSD storage, a quad core i5, Comet Lake processor, a good amount of RAM, a USB 3.1 type connector C, a biometric reader, or a backlit chiclet keyboard, all in a silver frame. It sports an elegant design with its thin and light silver chassis. This Ultrabook has a good connection consisting of, one USB 3.1 Type-C, Wi-Fi AC and Bluetooth 4.2, wireless modules for remote connections, and communications, audio and Ethernet ports, and HDMI video output convenient to easily connect it to a TV or, a monitor, for example as well as three USB compatible with both USB 2.0, and USB 3.0. The USB 3.0 guarantees transfers made up to 10 times faster than in USB 2.0 if the USB 3.0 devices are connected to it. A backlight system is fitted to the chiclet keyboard, which is useful for distinguishing its keys when the ambient light is limited. In addition, thanks to the integrated biometric reader, you can identify yourself by recognizing fingerprints on the system using Windows Hello technology. The screen lends itself well to the display of high-definition content, and particularly to videos with its precise full HD definition and 16 to 9 format. This Dell Inspiron 145490 is a compact and lightweight high-definition laptop designed for everyday use. It benefits from an SSD storage, bringing a much better fluidity and reactivity in everyday life than a hard drive. This translates, for example, in practice into much faster software start, stop and launch. With its 512GB, the SSD competes with hard drives in terms of capacity, while being much faster, more energy efficient, more robust and quieter. The heart of this thin and light computer is well supported by the SSD on a daily basis. It consists of a low-power Comet Lake quad-core i5-10210U processor, and 8GB of RAM. This gives good general performance capable of satisfying many users except those who wish to carry out heavy work on the processor, resources on a regular basis. The latter will rather have an interest in turning to a PC based on a non-low-consumption Intel processor. Since it does not have a dedicated GPU, this Ultrabook is not suitable for heavy graphics processing like games. However, it obviously allows you to view photos and videos. Thanks to the modest benefits of the Intel UHD 620 solution integrated within Comet Lake. As for the autonomy of this Ultrabook, fairly easy to transport with its controlled weight and compactness, bet on around 6 hours of battery operation in light use. Dell Inspiron 145490 features a full HD IPS screen. It is diagonal, 14 inch 35.56 cm, and the resolution 1920 h 1080. Additionally, the screen ratio is 16 to 9, the pixel density 157 pixels per inch, their pitch 0.161 by 0.161 mm. 
The screen can be considered retina, when viewed from at least 55 cm, from this distance, the average human eye can't see the individual pixels. It has comfortable viewing angles. The maximum measured brightness is 238 nits candela per square meter, in the middle of the screen, and 230 nits candela per square meter, average across the surface, with a maximum deviation of 11%. The correlated color temperature on a white screen, and at maximum brightness is 6450K, average, almost matching the 6500K optimum for sRGB. The average color temperature through the grayscale before profiling is 6320K. This notebook is usually made out of plastic. So, confine mind that its body is extremely scratchable, so you would possibly want to stay sharp objects far away from it. On the brilliant side, the lid is aluminum and kudos to Dell, for shaving off a few of millimeters, and a few 130 grams of the general weight of the device. The Inspiron 5490 happens to be, another notebook whose lid can't be opened with one hand. However, we will find a light change round the display. Rather than putting a few rubber feet to stop it from slapping flat, on the bottom and eventually scratching the display, Dell has made a whole plastic rim around it. This could provide more stability. Let's swiftly move to the aforementioned base. It's traditionally home to the keyboard, which is more or less an equivalent as last year. Our unit lacks a backlight, but consistent with Dell's official website, you'll catch on as an optional extra. The board, itself, features a decent key travel, and somewhat clicky feedback. A thing we don't adore is that its deck is, susceptible to bends even once you aren't typing that aggressively. When you turn the laptop the wrong way up, you're getting to see the ventilation grill, also because of the speaker cutouts. Sadly, the recent air is being blown towards rock bottom a part of the display. We are close to check if this makes the display warm up, or it just dissipates by itself. On the left side, you will find the power plug, an HDMI connector, as well as two USB type of 3.1, first gen, ports and, one USB type C 3.1, first gen, port with power delivery and, display port capabilities. Switch sides, and you'll see an archaic USB type of 2.0 port, a headphone jack, and a micro SD card slot. Now let's talk about the battery, we conduct the battery tests with Windows Better Performance setting turned on, screen brightness adjusted to 120 nits, and all other programs turned off, except for the one we are testing the notebook with. This device's 51 watt hours battery seems to provide, quite a lot of screen on time, 16 hours and 20 minutes of web browsing, and 15 hours and a half of video playback. Now let's see the benchmark of this laptop, by the CPU Z from the CPU tab, processor name Intel Core i5, code name, Kabi Lake U slash Y, Max TDP 15 Watt, technology 14 nanometers. From the motherboard tab, this laptop built by Dell 0MF5 GT motherboard, chipset, Intel Comet Lake, Southbridge, Intel Comet Lake PCH. Bench CPU score for the single thread 340.3, for the multi thread score 1669.1. Cinebench R15 Open GL score 36.07 FPS, and CPU score 421 CB. Peak Bench 5 Single Core score 957, and Multi Core score 2819. Compute Benchmark Open CL score 5386. Look over an assortment of contemporary, and quieting hues, like platinum silver, iced lilac, iced gold and iced mint. The recently overhauled power button is flawlessly consolidated, into the keyboard for a neat and, modern look, while the fingerprint reader on the power button, allows you to log in with one touch. The venting gaps are likewise moved from the palm rest to the pivot for a completely streamlined structure, in a laptop with a height of just 17.3 millimeters. Dell Inspiron 145490's display is equipped with an IPS panel with full HD resolution, decent contrast ratio, comfortable viewing angles, and adequate default settings. 
However, its backlight flickers at every brightness level, except for the maximum, and its color coverage is pretty modest. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, take care, see you in the next video.